Hi and welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor and today we're looking at the PLCE side pouches for your Bergen now usually they're 10 litres, they're quite big they are great for anything like bugging out your survival bags or anything but what if I wanted to convert just a normal Bergen strip it right back, minimalise it for use with a tent and a sleeping bag in just for normal camping but in an area where it may require a bit of bushwhacking and I'll show you the kind of PLCE side pouches that I found that I really like these mini omnis are what we're looking at here a fixed double ammo with a single omni on the side it's all on one panel and of course the PLCE zips there so these do fit to the PLCE Bergen and I think also they're compatible with carry more as well but this is what we're talking about some of the zips don't go on some of the packs they won't go on the Virtus Virtus won't go on the PLCE um, the PLCE don't go on the Berghaus the Berghaus don't go on the Virtus or the PLCE so make sure that if you want these kind of pockets or pouches that you're getting them for a PLCE if you have a PLCE if you have a Berghaus you'll be looking for the MMWS pouches let me see if I've got that right multi mission pack system MMPS and they're the ones you're looking for but they'll only give you the 10 or 15 litre capacity rocket pockets but I've only seen these um, for the PLCE which like I said should fit the carry more but nothing else other than the PLCE so I have two of these one for the left one for the right and we're going to have a look at other alternatives also we're going to size it to see what kind of cook set it will go in other cook sets more for the Virtus related side pockets water carry for the side of the Virtus this one your standard 10 litre rocket standard 2 litre camelback we can connect also to the side all these are side pockets and there's the other um, omni pouch double ammo for the other side of the PLCE and there's the other 10 litre all these are in MTP and I've also bought the Virtus as well here because only the Virtus will fit the Virtus and only the PLCE fit the PLCE let's start from the right over to the left and have a close up of these this is just one of the side omnis which looks like a double mag on top and obviously a pouch for your Omni on the bottom but of course you can put whatever you want into here and here and I'm kind of thinking some catering equipment on one side of the Bergen with that on and then some food and some sundries in that one so they only need to be zipped on when I need them and zipped off when I don't 
the zips for the double ammo and Omni are identical here to the actual PLCE. Like I say, they won't mix and match because the zips are sewn differently. So let's have a look at the back of the zips and see why one doesn't fit the other. This is the Virtus pouch and we're looking at it from the back. It has the zip slide top left hand side. But if we move over to the PLC 10 litre pouch, it doesn't have the slider on this. The slider is on the pack and not the rocket pocket. If we come over to the other side of the PLC E10 litre, follow the zipper down, we have the slider on the right hand side and over to the Virtus we have the slider on the right hand side. So the only difference is on the left hand side we have another slider. So at least one half of these will fit the PLCE and you'd have to strap it down rather than rely on the zips. So this is why different PLCEs will not go onto a Bergen, the Virtus or the Berghaus. All the zips are sewn upside down, back to front. And it's just a way to ensure you buy their products and not anybody else's, which is a shame because I really fancied these for the Virtus. These are the contenders for the water carries. If it's only water that you want, let's start on the right. Your two litre Camelback has the QR clips which fit the PLCE Bergen. And that will fit nicely and transport two litres of water in the Camelback bladder. Over to the Virtus which has the source uh, reservoir bladder for it. That zips onto the side of the actual Virtus. Because the side of the Virtus Bergen has a row of molly, I could actually try something like this, which is an H2O system, which has a litre of water, a cook pot, and a little stove in there, drinks cup. This here could also be used on the Virtus because it has the molly strap and the Virtus on the side has the molly ladder to receive the molly straps here. So these are other options and you take and choose from which you like. I'm not a big proponent of carrying water in bladders especially on the side of the Bergen it weighs the thing down too much there are better ways of carrying water um, but I bought everything out so you can make the decision for yourself I personally don't use these so I'm going to start off by zipping on the double ammo single omni side pouch to the PLCE Bergen. On the other side I'll just put a standard um, 10 litre rocket pocket on. It goes on in the exact manner you'd expect it to. Just like the rocket pockets they just zip on. So let's have a go at this. So facing the pouch on the left I have the slider introduce the box to the slider and zip that up. On the other side I have the zip on the Bergen and zip up. On this side I'm just going to put the standard rocket pocket Again, the slider is on the pouch on the left. 
as you look at it and the slider is on the actual Bergen on the right for the PLCE I'm just going to pad this out so we can have a proper look at it so this is the Omni on the bottom single and there are two standard ammos on top but I am going to use this perhaps for camping you know standard tent sleeping bag roll mat but all into a Bergen but without some of the surplus kit plenty big enough this bottom Omni here for something like this which is your jet boil minimo it's not the flash it's the minimo it's a lot bigger so a big old pot if you want a smaller pot in put a small pot in obviously this is just for demonstration just to show you the kind of size this bottom one is and I reckon I could even get this in side on and that's a standard mess tin and the space to spare is well in there but I prefer a little jet boil in there I know not everyone's a fan of it but each to their own yeah Let, let's dance to our own tune there's no need to follow everybody else's at this time I would say it's obvious you put your desired cook set of choice into there um, a lot of people see their arse when they see the jet boil and start crying put your own choice of cook unit in there on the other side of the Omni once I put the other side on I was kind of thinking the food itself and a flask and things like that so the catering on one side the food in the other main chamber will be a tent a sleeping bag a roll mat spare clothes waterproofs so I have accessibility for the catering without going into the main pack itself So that is how easy it is just to take that off and introduce the other side pocket. Like I said, it's going to be more for while camping, these side pockets, if you decide you want to do it all with a Bergen. Not always do I, sometimes I use a patrol sack, mostly tracking kit. Just for those of you who want to see this loaded with smaller side pouches, here they are. That Omni is a good size. You're going to get a few meals in there if you choose to go down the road of the wet meals from the ration pack. I've got my ammo flask for the ammo pouch up there which is my main drinking cup as well so I can come back to my brew in intervals rather than sit down and drink the whole lot and it's something warm to drink throughout the night now I don't know what you're gonna put in here and I haven't decided myself but it's all the catering equipment in these side pouches for me for the sole reason I don't want to dig the main pack every time I want to stop to have a brew of course I still have access to the front pocket that hasn't been removed to be modified just yet I don't even know if I'm keeping this Bergen or not I probably won't 
so eventually all this will be for sale now the Virtus I bought the Virtus water system here which carries three litres this is the source so this will carry the source three litre hydro and this is the sleeve for it when you get one from new put your name number there it has the little ladder there of webbing and you can put your side sling across it and we've looked at the zips we know the different they're sewn on different sides um, if you're good at sewing you could just unpick all the stitching turn the zips the other way do whatever is needed to make it compatible with the PLCE but water in my opinion shouldn't go on the side of any pack there are other ways of carrying water so now I'm going to put this uh, pouch onto the Virtus system yeah this one you zip from the top down to secure it and from the bottom up to secure it for the Virtus the securing straps from the pack and now that is ready to accept a two litre water carriage so here is where I put my three litre reservoir with the drinks tube coming out there three litres of water on the side of any pack weighs the damn thing down like you won't believe but it is for sale it is an option for you if you want to buy one of these so they are on the market so people must want to carry the water like this uh, just not me if I was to try something else I could come over to something like this this is a little handcrafted one I had made for me uh, which was originally for the source 3 litre and it's all on molly and ladder pals ladder and that could also be attached to the Virtus GU Bergen and if we come to the Virtus GU Bergen this is the side you're looking at it also has the ladder system all the way down an alternative would be a hydro system like this and that would also molly on to the side but it's not how I carry water but just for demonstration I'm going to put the H2O onto the side of the Virtus so to the right is the PLCE to the left here is the Virtus GU this is easily 90 litres I well believe it's 90 litres with the GU Bergen this is the alleged 100 litre PLCE which I think is 60 or 65 and it's the snow collar hood of uh, 30 litres nearly that brings it up to 90 that's as close of a litreage as I can measure for the PLCE and yes I am aware that it is listed on websites and everyone is aware that it's 100 litres it's just that I do not believe it is I put the first uh, molly strap in as close to the back as I can it has four rows across if I come to row number three it's 
pulls it in too tight and row number two also has issues as well this is going to take a few minutes and there the water system is on the Virtus now my Berg house is only 2.3 kilos it's far more comfortable it fits everything in with the Virtus there on the left I really am desperate to try that with the DWD spine which it's always had missing from it so there's a lot of options now left open to me both for the PLCE and the Virtus like I said now I'm finding the DWD spines the Virtus might be a keeper um, I've got plenty of PLCEs plenty I need to get rid of as many as I can but we're not now just stuck with the 10 litre side rocket pockets we can make a Bergen fit for a wild camp or for the hobbyist which is let's face it why most of us are here in the first place we just want to use surplus because it's tough and strong for a few nights out and there are people who will insist that they don't like the surplus and would rather go lightweight I have lightweight equipment and there are videos of that on this channel if you're one of those who like a little more ruggedness from your kit there is plenty of surplus dedicated to this channel also so now I have the Omnis here on the side on both sides I'm just going to put a tent in mine a sleeping bag a roll pad cook set in one side food in the other um, and just build it up more for camping and I'll show you all that put together in the Bergen so it's purely camp kit in the Bergen with the side omnis and the back support stripped out and we'll just go for a walk see how it all feels so if you want to see this in action being used pretty soon we'll get round to that until next time you take good care of yourself and I'll see you out there. Happy trails.